Hi everyone, it's Esther here with another live for Elizabeth Craft Designs. Welcome! First of all, I have to see and look if I can find you guys online so I can communicate with you. Let me look. Where are you? Sometimes it takes a little while. Yes, I think we're good. I can see myself and I can see you. Hi, Petra, Saskia, Patricia, Belinda. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Welcome. Good to see you too. Naina, Anja, Yvonne, Lily. <laughs> Hi, welcome everyone. Okay, um, I think you can already see what's on my desktop. Some pretty cool new items. I will wait a couple of seconds so more people uh, have the opportunity to join us. Hey David, good to see you too. Hi Sylvia, Jose, welcome everyone. Hello. <laughs> Hi Susanna, how are you? Hello Finland, <laughs> good to see you. Okay, let's get started. I've got some cool new items for you. Um, as you can see, book seven already, <laughs> and it's all about red, white, and blue. Then I have a very cool new uh, art journal, ATC art journal from David's collection. And this one has matching ACT journal sleeves. So um, I'm going to go into those a little bit later. I'm going to start with my book first of course and because it's my um my turn to do the live today i am uh, showing you my new product or one of my new things and david's collection so it's easier for us to do it this way than um two different lives at the same evening so uh, same day sorry hi nelleke hi belinda hi alice hello everyone hello everyone okay i'm going to start with the book and as usual, it is um, <laughs> 32 pages on thinner paper and 32 pages on a little bit thicker paper. So, uh, for example, you can use uh, the cardstock paper for your planner pages, for cards, uh, ATC cards also. And the thinner paper is usually being used for um, decorative um, purposes but you can also put it uh, on a thicker piece of paper if you want to make, for example, extra cards or coins or whatever. So I'm going to quickly browse through it and show you, uh, because I, do, uh, I did put in some extra uh, cutting uh, pieces for you, so you can all start die cutting, oh no, not die cutting, uh, fuzzy cutting, <laughs> sorry. Uh, let me see, the, this one to start with, it has cards, and I'm going to show you what they look like when you cut them. <laughs> Hi, Marie. Welcome. Hi, Angela. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> Susanna again. Hi, Monique. Welcome. So uh, when you cut these, you're going to get those three by four inch um, cards, which you can use in the pocket pages. You can use them in an art journal. Uh, you can use them if you are a Project Life person. You can use them in Project Life sleeves. So that's all up to you. Uh, some decorative labels. And I think this border is pretty cool. I'm not sure if you can see it. I think you can. I think it's a cool one. Actually, I was thinking, should I do a full page with only these borders? Well, probably that would have been a little bit too much for you guys. So I kept it simple and just um, a smaller piece of it. So I'm going to put this one aside. Hello, Duivendrecht. Hi, Waldo. Good to see you too. How are you? So here's some more uh, from a vintage letter, vintage ephemera, uh, the blue vintage alphabet. This one also comes in red in the same book. More blue pages, just browsing through them so you can see. Oh, I'll put it a little bit more to the middle. Hi, Ingrid. Good to see you. Then there's a page with those cute little labels. I also did cut those for you. So you can see what it looks like when you have been cutting them. Um, yeah, let me put this one here. And you see it has all sorts of... Oh, I thought it was dirty, but I have a little... Uh, I'm wounded. 
no. Um, some little tags with all kinds of embellishments, decorative items. Um, most of them do have some printing on them, but if you want, you can add some extra. You can add some writing. There are two different sizes. So these are the bigger ones. And these are the tiny cute ones. Oh, here's a little dot from, <laughs> from the die cutting. Okay. So you see those pretty cool, very small embellishments. Um, yeah. For you to decorate your pages, your cards, and whatever project you are working on. So pretty cool vintage labels in two different sizes. Now, um, as you all know, we have been doing a lot of um, pancake thingies <laughs> with the mini pancake. And I tried to um, emboss the, the label. So what I did, I just put on some clear embossing and it turned out that the paper is starting to uh, discolor. So it turned out <laughs> brown greenish. You see the difference? So this is the original paper color and then only adding um, clear embossing powder it turned out, uh, yeah, in this color. It looks, it, I thought it was very strange in the beginning, but when they were done, I was thinking, oh, it's not so bad. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to use those in my journal for sure. So, but that's just something I wanted to show you do, to you <laughs> so you can see what you can do with them. So these are going to go back into my little baggie over here. Oh, I'm sorry, the comments, sorry guys. It's hard to see because of the book again. Lots of pancaking, yes, Karen. <laughs> hi, Inge, oh, thank you very much. Lois, Yona, hi, how are you, Yona? So I'm quickly going through the book until I see some more paper cutting from old magazines, old book pages, old invoices. Uh, a mix of uh, vintage um, airmail envelopes. This was uh, an old um, folder for travel documents, documents, sorry, from um, the Dutch uh, aircraft company, KLM. <laughs> but it was a vintage one, a really cool one. I still have it somewhere, but um, that's a part of it. And then um, vintage airmail envelopes, uh, more ephemera, then there are some, um, how do you call them, tags. I did die cut them, uh, edit some twine, and you see how cool they are to use uh, in your journal. You can add a picture, do some journaling, some stamping. Uh, so these uh, are the ones from a page like this. I'm putting them aside again. So there's lots and lots going on in here. Now these are always um, yeah, some kind of favorites of mine uh, because they are so versatile to use, you know, those little, uh, yeah, little tiny, it's the same, um, pieces of paper all in red, white and blue. So it's a little postal theme, aircraft, airmail. Um, yeah, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, I did cut them, of course, and it gives you lots and lots of uh, vintage ephemera for you to use in your um, yeah, creative work, your artwork. So, and these are also pretty cool to use on ATC cards, um, maybe even the, the ATC coins. So it's great to combine them all. Do I have more? Yes, the same cards. Well, they are not the same as the blue ones. The, the pattern and the design it's a, a little different, but the style is the same. So here are the red cards. Uh, I did cut those words, which you can see down here. Approved, special, and the, the other one says document. So you can use them anywhere you like. And then you have a three by four inch uh, cards again uh, for you to use. Add pictures, add journaling. It's all up to you. Okay, quickly going on to my next page and probably the last or no, the second to last uh, milk caps, vintage milk caps. Now, also pretty cool to use. And uh, you can see there are a lot of them. So uh, you can use them as they are. 
Uh, I personally like to cut them in half and then decorate the edges of my paper, the edge of a card, uh, or fold one and then clip it onto a card. I'm going to show you what I mean. Uh, just fold one of those. Now I'm going to take a blue one because then you can see it a little bit better on. Well, no, it actually it doesn't really matter what kind of color, but if you are folding one like this and then slide it on top of a card or a picture or whatever, uh, punch a hole in there, add some twine, and then it's a really cool um, extra decorative element. Just a, a little tip, <laughs> but I'm sure you can figure out uh, lots of fun things to do with those. And instead of the, the original milk caps, because um, these are easier to use, because original milk caps, if you can find them, uh, they are thick. So, and these are so much better for us to use, uh, um, yeah, the way we are using them. So, I'm sorry, I forget to watch your comments. Let me see. Oh, Naomi, thank you. Sorry, what side? Was... Yeah, you can punch them, Angelique. I did punch them too. They are one and three quarters of an inch, um, if I am uh, remember correctly. Ah, uh, Michelle, you love milk caps. Yes, the punch. Uh, let me take a look. Hold on. I am not sure which one I used. No. I don't see it here anymore. This one is too small, that's for sure. One and one and four. <laughs> well, guys, just try any punch you have. Let me see. <laughs> is this the correct one? Yes, it is. And this one is, oh, one and a half inch. So if you have something like this, it's very easy for you to punch. And otherwise you can uh, use die cuts, you know? We have several um, circular dies, so there's probably one you, you have which uh, matches the size of the milk caps. So, um, oh yeah, and this is the last one, which you can cut out vintage envelopes, but uh, I resize them so they are cool and uh, cute and smaller, and you can use them for anything you like. So journaling, stamping, oh, here's one, the stamping I did on this one. And here I did, uh, oh, here's one of the, uh, another circular one, but this is the same effect as that, as that you when, as when you are going to fold a milk cap uh, in half. So I hope you can see it. And yeah, just a lot of fun elements again for you to use in your journal. So again, uh, thicker paper, thinner paper, great way to combine. So let me put this aside for now. And then I'm moving over to David's journal. <clears throat> Let me see what's new. Oops, okay. What's new is a very cool, I think, <laughs> uh, art journal uh, with matching sleeves. Now the sleeves do fit ATC uh, cards. Oh, it's upside down, sorry. <laughs> uh, and um, I don't have that many ATC cards. I did found some older ones I made myself, I think about 10 years ago. I'm going to show you to, the, to you. I'm going to show you, show them to you. Um, but <laughs> please mind, these are old and my style was completely different then. But of course I wanna start with um, um, the newer ones first. So uh, when you buy this, you get a journal. The journal is on its own in this cute, um, how do you call it, mesh bag? No, it's called, uh, how heet it, jongens? Linnen, achter? Nou ja, burlap, burlappy, uh, and an I trade ATC button. So if you're going to a show or maybe to an event, yeah, you can put it on and people know that you are trading ATCs. Now, this journal is also very handy to carry around. You can put it in your bag instead of carrying around those uh, large folders with many, many ATC cards and you can put in the ones you want to trade or swap, and then it's so much easier for you to carry along. So this one comes um, in the burlap bag, and then there is a, a pack with uh, 12, I think. Yeah, 12 pages per pack, uh, one style, ATC art journal sleeves. So, and there are two uh, attached to each other, and you can slide them 
uh, underneath the elastic bands in your journal. As you can see this, so I put in some blank cards uh, for you to show you what they look like and you just slide them in into your journal and uh, then you're good to go. So I'm going to show you the ones I made and you know ATC cards, it's really fun um, to make them and uh, I do like it because it's just like we are doing with the postage stamp. You make um, yeah, tiny paintings, tiny pieces of art and you can leave them in your ATC album of course, but I was thinking, although I do like them in here, I might later use them uh, in my journal as decorative, decorative items um, to go on my pages. So uh, this is one I did with uh, some pieces of the new paper. This is a, a part of one of the circular, circular bloop, <laughs> dies from uh, the ATC coin, the ATC coin set. Uh, from David, 2115 Artist Trading Coin die set. So I like that one very much. Then uh, some of my stamps, just uh, plain stamp on an ATC card, but I do like the combination of those. Here you see some paper from the new book, some paper from the old book, this lady over here, and these are some vintage labels I had in my stash. So these are not from the book. Sorry guys. <laughs> Uh, some of the large numbers from one of my die sets. Uh, this is also an older stamp, well, not very old. And in the background here, you also see one of the ATC coins, the one with all the little circles, the little holes uh, around the edge. Here's another one with, um, yeah, the, the lucky, <laughs> the lucky couple from one of my stamp sets. Oh, am I still good? I don't need to. Uh, put the, the items too much up and down because it's getting, um, how do you say? Fuzzy, buzzy, no, I don't know. Uh, another card, and I do like making backgrounds with the circles, as you can see over here. Now, these are the ones I made with the new book, and now here I'm quickly going to show you what I made about 10 years ago or so. As you can see, that is completely different from what I'm doing now, but I must say I still like it. And it's funny to see how you, uh, your style changes, uh, the things you like are changing, your taste changes. So you can see it's completely different. But I was lucky um, yeah, to find them and put them into this very cute journal. So that's for the new products. And of course, I'm going to show you something with them. Um, my plan. <coughs> yes, my plan. Okay. What else have we got? Great size. Daily. Oh, let me check the comments, guys. Ah, Saskia, that's a great plan. <laughs> Hi, Esther, another Esther. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie, good to see you too. Hi, Anita. Hi, hi. Okay, my plan is now, uh, I am going to make uh, a page, uh, but only the background. I'm not going to use pictures. I will do that later because I didn't have any pictures uh, ready to print for today. I, w I didn't know, I didn't feel in any pictures. So I'm just going to make a background uh, and I'm going to use the ATC coin dice uh, from David's release to do so. So I have some, well, quite a couple of circles cut out uh, yesterday and today, yesterday evening. Was it yesterday evening? No, the day before, I think. I can't remember. Uh, and this afternoon, so my plan is to yeah play a little bit with all those circles and see um, how it ends. Not sure <laughs> what it's going to be, but that's my plan for today. And if we do have some time left, I can do uh, another ATC card or something. So let me start with this. Um, well, now I'm going to do this side. So this, this way it's better for you to see what I'm doing. I do like this one, the circle with all the, the little holes. So I'm just going to place something on top of my paper and then see what it looks like. So I'm just mixing and matches all those elements. And now you see um, it doesn't pop up yet. It, it doesn't stand out when you are layering them. But uh, when you add some um, distress ink to the edges, then. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh, someone who doesn't have a mug. No, then you haven't been on the show. <laughs> um, but when you start inking the edges, it will be fine. So shall I go for the blue colors or maybe the red? I do like reds, you know. Let me see. And, you, you know, it's just playing and gluing things down <laughs> when you like it. Okay, I do like these. And this is one with the same shape. Maybe I should should sort them a little bit so I know what I have. That might be easy. They are a little bit different in size, you see. This one is a tiny bit smaller. And I think I will use the larger ones. These are the same size. Maybe I should have done this before, but <laughs> this one is a little bit larger. And this is one of those circles. Let me try to do it a little bit quicker. These are just blank. Oh, I do like these. Are these the big ones? Oh, I think I will go for the red. And maybe some of those. So this one I will use. These, these, these. Should I do five? Yes, why not? Five is always good. Now I'm not sure if I need this. You can use anything on those little pieces of art, so you never know. You see how fun it looks when you put it on top of each other? I'm going to show you what I mean. Because this is something you might throw away, but I think when you glue it down, it looks pretty cool on an ATC card. I will put it aside and maybe I can do that later today. Um, that suddenly looks nice. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm good with those. I need some of these. I can do that one. Let me see. And then that one on this one. You see, so it all comes back together. Now it all comes back. It matches. Do I have one of those? I need another red one. But I'm not sure if I've got it. Then my plan doesn't come together. Hmm. Now I'm going to use, let me see, this one, no, this one should go on this one in here. Then I have one of those, a hey, bummer. Okay, I'm going to use this one. Yep, okay, put this aside. And first let me start inking them. Where is my braid burner? How are you guys doing? I forget to watch again. <laughs> yeah, you can put a picture behind it. Of course you can. More from Finland. Hi, Anna Marit. Welcome. Hi, Mayom. No questions. You're all good. Freezing. Hmm. I'm sorry, Kim. To me, everything looks nice, but... Oh, it's a Facebook glitch. Thank you, David. <laughs> so I just keep going on. Unless I see a black screen, <laughs> I still can go on. And I see the comments moving, although I can't read everything. <laughs> but I do see we have a connection somehow. <laughs> okay. You see how much it, the difference already there is when you ink the edges. And I think... It will look even better when you do this one too. I'm sorry, I can't forward uh, <laughs> a live video because now you have to watch me uh, inking about 10 circles. But okay, I'm trying to um, <laughs> keep talking to you guys, <laughs> but you can also keep talking to me and I'm trying um, to answer your questions or your comments if I see them. But David is also here to help. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> so that's number two. Three more to go, guys. I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible. It's so hard to see the comments, to read the comments sometimes. 
because uh, the text is on top of uh, my tray. So it's a little bit hard to read. <laughs> and I have to do this and this and a little bit strange. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the show. We had a, a show last weekend in Holland, in Nijkerk. And Rihanna and David were there on Saturday to do um, a make and take. David did a make and take and Rihanna was there um, to assist. And then on Sunday, David and I were there. I was doing a make and take and David was there to assist. No, just kidding. He was... Uh, demoing and uh, talking a lot to all the, the the people who visited us so it was really fun and it was two years ago since the show was there so um well you see a lot of people you know and you you hardly see them anymore and it's so much fun uh, to meet each other again on a show like that so there were many many workshops make and takes and uh, a lot of people so uh, i think it was uh, pretty successful and I'm not sure if um, who of you uh, have been visiting us there, if you are watching now. So I want to know, what did you think? Was it a good show for you too? Did you like it? Did you buy lots of stuff? Did you spend all your money? <laughs> you probably did. Uh, Anita was there. David was there. Yes, of course David was there. <laughs> You turned the third one. Did I turn something? Oh, one, two, three. I see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that, that's going wrong, you know, talking and working, <laughs> multitasking. <laughs> so talking, working and reading some comments. That's not a good combination. Okay, I'm going to glue them together. Let me start with that. Just a little bit of glue. And you know what's also really nice about shows like that, that people who you see on Facebook, on our, um, on our lives, and you've never met them in person. And then it's so much fun to finally meet each other and see <laughs> people you are always uh, doing lives for, you know? Sometimes it's hard because you don't know what they look like. But in the end, <laughs> most of the time you will figure out who is who. Um, yes, this one can go on this one. Keep all scraps. Oh, Mina, you were also there. You enjoyed yourself. That's good. Did you do a make and take with us? or Petra, yes, you were always there. I saw you. <laughs> we had coffee together. <laughs> Claire, did you spend all your money? Ay, 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 naughty girl. No. You are right. You only live once. Okay, one more to go. So this is again for those who of you who joined uh, later, uh, this live, sorry. Uh, I am just making a background page to go into my full-size planner. I'm not going to finish it, but I just wanted to show you uh, something which you what you can do with the ATC coins from uh, the Art Journal collection. So let me see. Now I do also have these. These are from the previous book, book six. There were also circles in there. It might be fun to add one or two of those. Because there, oops, there is plenty of room in the middle as an extra layer, but not sure if I like it. Maybe one of them. But if I'm going to glue this one down now and I later want to add some pictures, then, and for example, let's say I'm going to glue it down here and the, the picture covers up um, this element, then it's a little... A little bit of waste of doing that. I can maybe wait adding one of those or maybe two of those later when I'm going to finish the page and going to work with my pictures. I think that's more 
uh, that makes more sense than adding them now. Although I do like them. Now, I did also cut out those, but it's not, it doesn't make any sense, you know, because this is a little bit of a flower shape. And if I'm adding this, um, it covers it up. So mm, that's a no go for now. Uh, so I'm just going to apply those circles on this page, trying to divide them here and there. So you want to balance it a little bit. Um, you know, it needs to be a balanced uh, page somehow. So it's just moving and... Hmm, let me see, because um, I do like this one here with the tab on the side, because I do have a little bit more space here. And then I also like um, this part here. I'm going to cut this off, so it means that the part which cuts off, which I cut off, I can use it somewhere else. Uh, on the side of a page. So maybe I should put these closer together. So when I'm doing the circles, let's say on the bottom part of the page, I can later add a picture on the top. That might be a smart thing to do. So something like this, and it may look a little bit crazy this way, but it might be fun in the end. So. I do have one, two, three pieces coming off. And then I can add one more here and one more here. Two, four, five, and then I have seven. And then one is a leftover. I am good with that. So I'm just going to glue them down. Not overthinking it. Don't think too long. <laughs> okay, here's number one. And number two, now you can decide which part you like best. Do you like it this way or do you like it that way? Because um, most of the time when I do the the pages into the the reminiscence book, the, the collage pages, I'm always trying to um, make them the way. Uh, so you can use them any way you like. If you turn them upside down or left or uh, right, uh, it doesn't matter. There's always something to see. So I'm not only making the collage um, yeah, portrait style. I'm mixing those things. I hope it makes sense. Uh, I need some scissors. Where are they here? I think I'm going to cut them first. At least this one. And I'm going to add a little bit of extra ink on the border, on the edge. So it pops up a little bit more than this one. Okay, here we go with this one. You know, it's not difficult. And I also do like to cover up one of the holes and then um, using one of the punch, uh, handheld punches to open it up again. Let me see. It's not really balanced this way. You should have, maybe it's better to do it here. You see what I mean? <laughs> Instead of this, it's a little bit weird maybe. Although when I do this and then I'm cutting this off. So then I have one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, what shall I do? What do you think guys? Should I put it down like this? So they are closer together. Although, no, I don't. It's, yeah, then you need to cover up this hole, but then this part is smaller than this part in between those circles. Um, now you can, oh, let me see. I have used the coins a lot of money. Awesome. Oh my, I forget something. I need to announce a winner. Let me check my phone. Oh, sorry guys, sorry guys. I had a message from Denny. The winner, I'm sorry, it's, maybe she already announced it. I'm sorry, guys, I forgot. Pam Hagen, Pam, you won a $50 gift certificate for this week. So oh. please contact um, info at ecraftdesigns.com. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Iets hoger, maar zo zie ik ergens staan. Oh, sorry. Um, hmm. Oh, I can trim something off the edge. Yes, okay. Okay, found it, found it, found it. I'm going to cut something off then it looks much better. Who is upping? What's up, up, up? 
Oh, up, up, up. Sorry. <laughs> it looks like you were, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Wanted to uh, have a message go up. Okay, I changed it a little bit. Okay, cutting this one off. And I am, oops, oh guys, sorry. And here's my, I'm still having to, um, having to get used a little bit to uh, my new working space here. And as I'm standing on the table now, instead of sitting. So sometimes things fall on the floor. I so, I'm sorry for that. Hi, Terry. How are you? Hi, Marie Claire. <laughs> Marie Claire, she is laughing at me. I know, I know. <laughs> but she's allowed to, who cares? There's a big bubble going there. Hmm. So I would like something to go there. Three, four, five. Oh, no, 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 Esther, you don't like it this way. Just let me move those things around a bit. Sorry if it takes a little bit longer, but it's too much this way. I can also cut off a little bit on the top and a little bit on the sides. Uh, hmm. I think it's too much. I think I'm going for this. Over here. I do like it over here too, but then this one should go there. But uh, I'm not completely happy with what I see. Two, four, five. I want seven. I don't have any more. Maybe a little bit here. You see, just a tiny, tiny, tiny thingy on the top. Or, or, or. This one here and this one there. No, this might take ages. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was I thinking? Four and five. I do like it this way too. No, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. Maybe. How hard can you make it on yourself? Don't you think so? <laughs> But I think you all have um, are experiencing things like this when you are making a page. So it's not only you, it also happens to me. And everybody else who is doing things like this. And again, it's just a background. So I'm making it too complicated for myself because probably there will be a few pictures later who are going to cover most of the circles. So why on earth do I spend so many time on this? But, you know, you want to make it the nicest, um, nice as possible as you can. So, but somehow it's not working yet. And I'm not sure what it is. Maybe taking this one away. Okay, I will decide within a minute now. <laughs> so maybe this, yes, I'm going to glue it down this way. Stop Esther. <laughs> Yes, that's true, Jacqueline. We are all doing it this way. Okay. That one goes here, and then that one goes here, and I'm going to cut something up. Oh, I can do it. There's a nice dotted line. Oh, you see my hair. I'm sorry, guys. That's because of the um, camera on top of me. It's on the ceiling, and when I bend over to glue something down, you will see my hair, my gray hairs. <laughs> okay. This one goes here. I'm trying not to bend over and gluing it down. <laughs> okay. So this is a really fun thing to do, I must say. Um, and you know, this is just prepping a page uh, for something you can do in the future. Oh, this is nice too. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you know, it's just a little bit here. Oh, you can't see it. I have to move it up a little bit. No, nothing is wrong with gray hair. I wish I had uh, this beautiful gray white hair, which you see with ladies sometimes, and men, of course. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not that far yet. 
But I do like gray hair, mm -hmm. no doubt about it. Mm. I'm sorry, guys, I keep on. Now, I'm just going to glue down this little piece down there. And then I am leaving it the way it is for future use. Okay. And I'm going to keep it together with this one so um, I can always use it uh, when I think I need it. Okay. So this is just something to do with the circles um, yeah, from the, the ATC coin set. Now, uh, I do have some time left, so I think I'm going to do another ATC card with you, uh, with the stuff which is laying around here. And I think I do have a little piece left somewhere. Okay, this is already being cut. I did already make one. Oh yes, I was going to show you this. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, normally you would throw this away, right? Let me see if I can use it. I do need a base card. I did cut some in black and um, craft cardstock, or what's it called? Um, Manila. <laughs> Just a base. So this one goes here. So this is the base ATC card. Then this is a mat which I want to use. And then, do you think it might be fun <laughs> using this? I have no idea. I think it can be fun. Okay, let me start with inking it up first. Moments, Max. So nice to hear. I love the whole circles. Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to break. I'm going to take this away. So maybe I can read the comments a little bit better on the black background here. So I will wait at, until. Yes, okay. Gray hair. <laughs> yes, I am grateful, Mary. <laughs> you are completely right. <laughs> okay, let me see what we can do with these leftovers. And again, normally I would throw them away, but when I saw them laying on top of each other, it looked kind of fun. This is already fun, don't you think so? Oh. I'm going to put this one underneath and then this one on top. Somehow. Not sure yet. It needs ink. That's for sure. Ink on the inside. And just playing with some leftover pieces of paper. Saved from the dustbin. <laughs> from the trash. Okay, let me see. Now it does cover up most of the back of the paper, but who cares? Oh, so when I'm gluing this down and something like this on top of it, it looks like a, a how do you say, psychedelic, psychedelis. <laughs> I think it's, or maybe the other, let me look on the other side. Oh no, that's too, too boring. And that's boring too. Now, I'm going to glue this one down first and we'll see what happens. Oh, oops. When I glue it up to here, it should be fine. No, this is not for a weak number, um, Melinda. Or that's not what you mean? Use the right with the colors. Karen can't throw anything away. <laughs> no, I think it's hard to. <laughs> okay, let me trim this down. So I will get a better view of what it looks like. I already do like it. Nothing more to do. <laughs> now, some ink again. Now this one, let me see. It needs the full page somehow. I think it's pretty cool, you know? I'm going to cut it off here and there. Does it make sense or should I do it? No, that was, won't work because I want to cover the whole. Hmm, this way or this way? Oh no. 
Let me see. I think I like it better this way. I hope you agree because I'm just going to glue it down. <laughs> I think I'm good with gluing it up to there. Oh shoot, oh shoot, ink, ink. It does need ink. So I probably have to add more glue when I've done this, but okay. You don't see it that well, uh, the ink I'm applying now, but it does cover up the white edges from paper cutting. And let me see if you are still there. Yes, you are. And now I can't remember. Yes, I was planning on doing it this way, right? One more check. <laughs> oh, it doesn't really matter. It's both. Okay. Let's go for this way. More glue. Because of the inking, I forgot. And let me see. Oh. Now I see the paper wasn't cut completely straight, so I have to move it a little bit more to the right. <laughs> Otherwise it doesn't cover up the edges. I think it's pretty cool. It's just a background. And I have been using paper I would normally have been throwing away. So that's a win-win. Now it looks not really pretty yet, but when you're putting it on the mat, you see how different it looks already? At least that's what I think. So more glue. And I was thinking if I have time, yes I do, I'm going to do another quick one. Uh, with this fun circles with all the the little bubbles around the uh, around the corner on the board on the borders, so I think this is a pretty cool uh, background for one of the ATC cards. And um, and if you want to finish it, then I would I am thinking of, <laughs> for example, these are all my stamped images. Maybe you can do something with, uh, no, that's not fun. A part of the face, cut it out and then maybe half a face on there. Uh, a piece of a hand, no, that's not fun anyway. <laughs> what else have we got? A colored image, well, the colors are wrong, but can you imagine doing something like this? And, or maybe just a quote, well, this covers up too much. That would be a waste of the circles and the space underneath. Maybe a little music, a microphone. So you see, it's very fun to play around and go through your stash and see all the small elements you have. And um, you might be able to use on these little cards. I don't see anything really appropriate right now, but I think you know what I mean. Oh, maybe something from the, something else from the new book. Little cards. Hmm. Let me grab one of those little, just a fun, small. I'm going to do that. I am punching a hole in the corner, somewhere around here. One of the pre-cut little um, tags. I am taking some twine. And I do forget to watch your, <laughs> watch your comments. Oh, a clock stamp. Yes, that would be nice too. Good idea. Mariana, what did you say? I met Mariana also yesterday for the first time. It was really good to see you, Mariana. Let me see. Ah, special delivery, yeah, whatever. You can use so many things. Okay, a little piece of twine. 
Oops, here we go. Or you can use one of those um, with shrink plastic, you know, make a label with shrink plastic, add it on there. So it's just a little fun element on there. Uh, you can put some text or whatever. Uh, let me see, a little label. I don't want to cover up the holes too much. So maybe a little quote with a few uh, loose words or a, um, a, a sentiment or a little quote which you can cut apart. You know, all those little uh, words. Do I have them by hand here? No, I don't. Let me check, guys. One of my drawers with all the... Yes. One of the little pizza boxes. Yeah, something like this. Good things come in small packages, but that's too much. Save a smile for a rainy day. Let me see what else I've got. Save a smile. Hysterical. Well, it looks a little bit hysterical. <laughs> Story of well, save a smile. Would it be nice to save a smile? It doesn't have to, um, you don't have to make the full sentence, right? <laughs> save a smile. I'm going to apply that. Why not? More cutting because I just want to finish this little ATC card. So I can put it in my new ATC journal, or I can use it um, in my full-size planner or in my sidekick uh, as a decorative element next to my pictures or next to the journaling pieces. And I am going to... This is a little small, but I am okay. So save a smile, it's going to be. Save smile <laughs> oh maybe i should put it here save a smile <laughs> doesn't that look good yes i think it does save a smile you see you just keep on playing and it all comes together <laughs> it all comes together okay need more glue and i think i need some tweezers now because the a is little quite small so this one is going to be somewhere here and I think I need my tweezers for the A here we go make sure they are straight How many of you are already trading ATC cards or collecting them? ATC uh, swaps, I think there are. Or do you just make them because it's fun to make them? And maybe a little number in here, would that be fun? Let me check. I do have numbers. Another pizza box comes in. <laughs> I had them stored in my previous room. I had them stored and stacked all on top of each other. And now I have put them in one of my IKEA, um, how are these called? IKEA Alex drawers. And now you can all see them. So it's very easy to, to get them uh, a number. Save a smile. Oh, I do have some numbers here. If I am smart, <laughs> not always, um, I should use a, a weak number, which is uh, yet to come. So I can use it in one of my journals. Um, what shall I do? Week, what are we now? 14, 15? Let me make this week 18 or something. Let's see what I've got. Oh, there's no number one. I think number seven. Oh, here's a number one. So then it immediately covers up my week number for a future week. So I'm going to do week 18. 
I have no idea what's going to happen in week 18. <laughs> we're not there yet, are we? No, we're not in week 18. Are we? Almost, maybe. I don't know. Oh no, I'm glue. <laughs> I'm putting glue on the wrong side of the of the one. Let me check if there's another one. Yes, there is. Okay. I can't use this one for now. That one goes back in. I must say, I do like, oops, I do like the end result with the, the leftovers from the die cutting uh, pieces. So, okay, week 18, maybe 19, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> I'm picking a nine, so it's going to be for week 19. And I think this is also something which you can do when you're traveling, going on a holiday. You just take some uh, ATC cards, uh, cut some of the ATC coins and other bits and pieces uh, up front, take some pieces of paper, and then you can make those little tiny cards. How cute are they? I think they're pretty cool. Okay, so that was it for today. I'm going to show you one more time what we did. Just putting this to the side, clearing it up a little bit, <laughs> or just moving it away from the table. Um, so, what have we got new? Book 7, and planner sleeves, or no, no planner sleeves, our journal ATC sleeves from David's collection. And I'm going to show you the ATCs one more time because I think they're so pretty cool. Okay, here we go. And this is one of the, um, the stamps from uh, my new stamp sets, of course, um, with the shrink plastic. And I added it onto one of the ATCs. Not sure if I mentioned that. Um, and so you see how much fun it is to make those tiny pieces of art. And I'm going to put this one in. And hopefully I don't forget to use it in week 19. But I'm sure you guys will remember me. <laughs> will, will help remember me to use it. So, okay. That was it for today. Do we, yes, it's almost time. So I think I'm excused. And I did a background uh, for my large, or for my full-size planner uh, also to use in one of the upcoming weeks. So um, thank you so much for watching. And now I also have something new. Mm, to try and end this video. I don't think it's going to work, <laughs> but I thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and you are going to make uh, lovely creative things. Uh, yeah, soon. <laughs> okay, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.